What's up guys, I'm Rissim from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about the push F and pop F instruction. I'm also going to talk about the push FD and pop FD instruction. So let's get started. Let me first start off by explaining to you guys what push F and pop F do. Now let's see you, you wanted to um, save a backup of your flags, the state of your flags. We can't use the move instruction to move the flags into like, like re into a variable or a register. There's no way to do it with, with the move instruction. The only way to save your uh, flags is to use the push F. What push F does, it, it basically uh, it uh, saves the, the state of your flags the value of your flags and it pushes it to the top of the data stack. Now if you guys don't know about push and pop and how push and pop work, I've done a video on uh, push and pop so check that out. Now again push F saves the, the state of your flags and it and, it, and it'll, it'll push it to the top of the data stack right. Now we can use the pop then our, use a variable name. Now let's create a variable name up here. I'm gonna call my variable save flags. You can name it whatever you want, right? I want to make save flags equal to DW and I want to make it have a value of this question mark meaning no value assigned yet. Now again push F saves the status of the flags, the state of the flags, whatever you want to call it and it, and it pushes it to the top of the data stack. Now this pop instruction retrieves that and it'll save it into our variable which we named save flag. So we'll type in our variable here. So again push F, it uh, pushed the value of our flags to the top of the stack. Pop will we'll, uh, retrieve that data and save it into this variable. Now we, we have saved our flags, the status of our flags, now they're all backed up. Now we can do the opposite, we, we can restore, restore them back to the way they were. To do that we have to use first pop, then the variable name, right? I'm sorry, first we have to use push the regular push, then the variable name, which is S-A-V-E, flags, right? So now what this does, this is going to take our variable, which has the backup of the flags. It's going to push it back to the top of the data stack, right? Now we're going to use the pop F. Now the pop F, it'll uh, grab whatever's in the top of that data stack, which was our variable that had the backup, right? It'll grab it and it'll restore the flags. To their, to their original state. So that's how you restore the flags. So if you guys ever need to uh, back up the flags and then you want to restore it later on, this is the way we do it. Now, basically, there's another method, there's another way to do this. Let's say if you're working with 32 bit registers instead of 16, we use the push FD. And under here, we'll use the pop FD. And this basically does the 32 bit version. It'll save the, the flags into a 32 bit uh, size. Then here you have to alter this up here, the size, and that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.